So ever since we launched the Trace Together program in March, uh, it was quite experimental, but we've brought it up. It's now being used quite extensively by MOH, and we need to continue to improve on that. What we are here to do today is to run a simulated test uh, for Trace Together devices. We had a briefing just now with our volunteers, members of our team that are coming here today to help us to run this test. As we collect more data, it allows us to make more and more refined estimates, and that in turn will improve the accuracy of the Trace Together program when used by MOH. We've been steadily expanding our test device um, farm, we call it. So our device farm now includes more than 100 phones, which represents a significant uh, majority of the phone market that we know is out there in Singapore. In addition, within the last two months, we have also introduced the uh, Trace Together tokens, and we are trying to ensure interoperability as well as calibrated you know, estimations for distance across all of these devices. So each device should see each other equally and be able to contribute as you know, an equal participant within this larger Trace Together ecosystem. For today's test, the way we set it up is like this. We have the devices arranged in different zones across our office space. So you have wide open spaces like this. You have smaller and more confined spaces. Within each zone, we have a number of devices. So today, there are five devices in each zone. And what we do is within that zone, all the five devices should see each other and properly label each other as being within close contact of each other across a 30 minute time frame. We should also be able to exclude the nearby zones uh, devices and correctly identify them as being um, outside of close contact range. This is as close as we can get to reality, but we want to make sure we are doing this test in a controlled environment so that we can tell whether or not we are getting the correct readings and whether we are making the correct guesses and estimations as to whether close contact has taken place or not. What we then do in addition is we don't just do this once, we have multiple cycles. Each cycle, we will take the devices and scatter them across all the other zones so that you have the maximum amount of mixing, both in terms of the other devices that we are supposed to see, um, but also mixing in terms of the different environments so that hopefully this provides as representative, um, you know, an experience or simulation of what we can expect to see in the real world environment when Trace Together is actually being used to identify close contacts that MOH can then, you know, uh, identify and, and reach out to those people and you know, say you know, potentially you might have been in close contact with a COVID patient and we need to take actions to treat you or, or, or to look after you and provide appropriate guidance.